Welcome to the next episode of Cooking Hot, because it's bloody hot outside again. More on that later. What are we cooking today? Something everyone needs to eat every day. I do. And my blood test came back fine. Cholesterol's good. We're eating bacon. Now your first instinct when you're thinking you're cooking bacon is you pull something like this out. The old frying pan. Bad idea. They tell you not to cook bacon naked for a reason, because the grease splatter is going to hurt you and get everywhere. So we're doing something different. You want this, a nice, sturdy, metal pan. You want to set your oven to 450. You want some foil, it helps in the cleanup. And line your pan. Spread out. Spread it out, spread it out. There we go, that looks about right. The next step is very difficult. Watch carefully. Take your bacon pieces and lay them right here, nice and flat. And you keep doing this until all the bacon is out of the package. Simple enough. I laid the bacon. Grandpa would be proud. Now there is something I'd like to add to it. Fresh ground black pepper. Really easy. Grind it all over the bacon. Because it's going to make it extra yummy. Bacon is salty. And nothing goes better with salt than pepper. Although, with bacon, I would argue peanut butter and jelly on a wrap. And don't knock it unless you've had it. It's good. It's hot out. I told you that already. That's why it's called cooking hot. It's damn near 85 degrees and it's only early April. South Florida. I'm not heating up the oven. We're grilling the bacon. I tell people I grill bacon all the time and they're, they go, how does it not fall through the grates? Hands. So, grills at 450. Simple enough. Your grill hopefully has a thermometer on it. I hate when they mention recipes and say medium heat on grilling. What is medium heat? Give me a temperature. I'm a science teacher, damn it, Jim. Not a doctor. This goes in here. Big one on the bottom, too small on the top. Next, set a timer for about 20 minutes. Check on it. Depending on your pans, if you're using glass, it can take a long time. I suggest metal with... Um, set a timer for 20, check on it. Usually 30 minutes tops, um, and then you're good to go, and then pull it off. So you can enjoy your bacon in 30 minutes. Bring out those uh, smartphones and set your timers, because uh, that's what I gotta do now. Hear it sizzle. Hear it sizzle. I did mention I was cooking bacon. Didn't I? Bacon? Do you smell the bacon? Now that's some good looking grilled bacon. Oh, it's got to come off. It's done. Timer went off. We are good. Now that's a delicious plate of bacon. And the great thing about cooking outside is the mess is contained to the outside. I need that piece. Uh. Yeah, that's good bacon. Hold on. Yep. Yeah. Taste up. Wait, one more time. Yep, yep, right, good. Oh, hold on. Nice right, good bacon. So, what did we learn today? I think we learned that you can cook almost anything on the grill. And bacon is simple, you don't need a pan. And that bacon is loved, I think, by every species in the world. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on. Oh. <laughs> No chickens, you can't have bacon. You can hear the chickens in the background the whole time. Beep, 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 bop. <laughs>